give a hearty welcome to Mr. Matt Barry from Freelancer. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. So, uh, no pressure or anything. Thank you for the, thank you for the setup. Um, look, I'm very pleased to be here. I'm very pleased this is my first time actually meeting people from, from the community and all domainers. Uh, it, it, it's, uh, I've had a fantastic time. I'm also very pleased to be a supporter of, of Namescon and we'll continue to do so. Um, so I thought I'd give you a little bit of a um, presentation, giving you a little bit of a, you know, most of you probably know of escrow.com and kind of what we do, but I thought I'd kind of show you a few little insights um, about things that we've learned over the years in terms of what's happening in the domain industry. Um, also talk a little bit about freelancer and kind of why we bought the business and, and how freelancer can actually help you uh, make more money um, with your domain portfolio or, or whatever you're, what you're doing with your, with your business uh, and so forth. So uh, without further ado, I'll just kind of get going. So, um, you know, escrow, basically we're, we're the world's um, uh, number one place for secure online payments. By that I mean truly secure. Um, uh, we've processed over $2.7 billion worth of transaction volume to date. Um, this is a business that's been around since 1999. Uh, and it was actually started by Fidelity uh, many, many, many years ago. Um, uh, you can use escrow to, to secure a whole bunch of different transaction types, not just domain names or, or websites and so forth, but people are buying and selling cars, airplanes, jewelry, collectibles, artwork, um, services agreements, you name it, it's probably been sold through escrow.com. So it's, it's a pretty uh, amazing solution for actually um, you know, finding a way to transact securely on the internet. The key thing here is we are audited, we're licensed, we're bonded and regulated uh, right across the US. Uh, and we're the only, really the only guys that they're, they're actually regulated to the extent we are. And so um, as a result of that, the, the, the really important thing is that not only do we have a, a very robust process in terms of how we do these transactions, but there are no chargebacks. So uh, this, this is a payment service where if you, if you want to buy something or you want to sell something, you have absolute surety over that transaction is going to go through. It's a very simple to use um, uh, 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 website. In fact, there's a dumb, dummies guide online. Uh, it's just a simple you know, five-step process. The buyer and seller agree to kind of what they want to do. The buyer then pays escrow.com. There's an inspection period, uh, uh, which you can define to be anywhere from you know, one day to, to whatever days uh, to, to inspect the goods. Uh, and then once we say, once the buyer says it's okay, everything's great, then we'll actually close out the transaction. And uh, the reason why it's, 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 it's you know, highly needed and, and will have an ever-increasing ever um, need in the future is if you have anything of value that you want to sell, you wouldn't actually sell using PayPal. Um, and the reason why is just, there's chargebacks, there's reversals, there's been all sorts of horror stories that you know, even people were talking about during the period of this conference where you know, the, the people have sold things like domains uh, using PayPal and then had reversals and it's been very hard to get claw back the, the domain or the, and so forth, all the money. Uh, in fact, um, eBay doesn't think so either, which was kind of interesting because eBay was the owner of PayPal. And if you go to the automotive section of the eBay website, it says important, do not use PayPal.com, only use escrow.com. So that's a pretty phenomenal endorsement from eBay when they have their own payments business. Um, just some statistics about us. We're, we're almost a million um, uh, registered users on the site. Uh, it's been growing very, very strongly since 1999. Uh, in financial year 14, uh, sorry, 15, which was uh, the calendar year, uh, just, just, uh, just closing, we had 430 million US dollars in transaction volume. So it's, it's a huge amount of volume goes through through our business. As you can see in FY14, there was a big jump, um, which I'll talk about in a, in a second. Now I have a video which we'll, which we'll be showing, it will show you the, 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 what's actually happening on our site. Um, and we've kind of modeled this over, over the, we're, we've taken the, the, the data and we've actually made a map of the world. So uh, the video will come up in a second, but when it comes up, you'll see a series of white dots. So those white dots are where our users are all around the world. Um, You'll see some pink lines that will turn to blue lines. The pink are where the buyers are, and the blue lines are where the sellers are. So you'll see this in a second as, as, as play gets hit. So this is starting back in 2000. You can see here that uh, you know, the, so the, the pink is where the, where, where, the, where the buyers are, and the blue is where the sellers are. There's a big domestic market in the US, obviously, so you can see the, the lines kind of going around the US. Uh, but you can also see sellers all around the world. Um, you know, a lot of pink lines for people buying from Australia. Uh, and the sellers from the US. You can see here that through 2008, 2009, 2010, there's a lot more pink coming out of China and as, as uh, Chinese buyers kind of come in and um, just like they're buying real property all around the world, they're buying virtual property in the form of websites and domains and, and, and so on. If you can see here we've got fairly, fairly strong growth. You can also see the business is, is, is very much global in nature. And that brings us up today. Um, so that's kind of a neat little, uh, neat little video that we, we put together to kind of explain, uh, you know, to show kind of uh, how the business you know, is, is, is a very much a global business. Um, you know, it's a very, very strong demographic of the user base. About 60% of our, our users come from the US and then the UK, Canada, Australia, Germany, and, and so forth. 
Um, we secure transactions right up from you know, the hundreds of dollars through to the you know, $10 million plus. Um, you know, the biggest uh, domain name transaction that happened uh, in 2015 went through us. It was well reported in, in the media. I won't mention the name. But um, you, know, that, you, know, you, can, you can put through very, very large transactions. In fact, in 2014, I bought a whole business for many millions of dollars uh, called Warrior Forum, which is the biggest um, internet marketing forum in the world, and did that through escrow.com. Uh, you can also use it for, for things like if you want to uh, import or export a shipping container and bring it in from China. Uh, you don't have to go through a bank and get letters of credit and so forth. It makes it very simple. Industrial equipment, heavy machinery. You know, this particular Andy Warhol sold through, uh, through escrow.com. Service contracts. If you go holiday in Spain and you want to get a holiday rental, uh, people are using it to escrow the funds to ensure that they, uh, the property actually is you know, the quality they thought it was when they, when they, um, when they looked at the photos. And in fact, uh, it's also the place where the internet's bought and sold. So um, you know, whether it's Twitter, Instagram, SpaceX, Uber, et cetera, that's where the domain names will purchase through escrow.com. Now, some interesting statistics. Um, so this is um, high level average price of domain names transacted through escrow.com over, over the last 15 years. And the really f amazing thing about this is the five year CAGR, uh, so the compound annual growth rate of um, the average value of a domain name is actually equivalent to the 10 year CAGR. Like it's been a pretty smooth rise in the, you know, the appreciation of the price of domain names. In fact, over the last 10 years, uh, the average has been about 7.3% per year growth in the value of the average domain name transaction. So this is, this is you know, if you, if you, it's actually, this is actually a wonderful endorsement for, for the domain industry because if you, I don't know if you look at the stock market today, but uh, all around the world, asset prices are, are crashing, commodities prices are crashing, etc. Domains look, look like a, a pretty uh, good investment uh, to kind of, uh, be part of your portfolio. Um, if you look at shorter domains, I think you guys probably very much know that shorter domains are worth a lot more than, 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 than longer domains. Um, if you, four letter domains uh, that transact through the, the site uh, grew by an average of 9.3% per annum over the last 10 years, so they've grown, grown even faster. And of course, a lot of the reports in the media um, have been that the reason why the four letter domains are uh, increasing in value so rapidly is because of the rise of China, and we have seen that firsthand. In fact, if you look at the red line, that's the growth in transaction volume uh, through escrow.com from China uh, in the domain name industry. Right? You can pretty much see there around 2011 or 12, uh, there's an exponential rise in volume of domain name transactions. These are primarily buyers from China buying domain names. Um, now, the quickest way to actually increase the value of your domain name portfolio is actually to start developing your domains. And in fact, we've got some data, unfortunately, and it goes back for five years for websites, um, uh, domains with, con with content and websites on them. Uh, but uh, in that five years of data that we have, um, that if you sell a domain with content on it through escrow.com, uh, the average uh, sale price is actually 63% higher than the actual, uh, than actually selling domains by themselves. So, and in fact, in 2015, it was up by, it was an 89% difference. So this leads to a little bit uh, of a discussion, you know, discussion I want to talk to you about, about kind of why France have bought escrow amongst other things. Um, you know, the easiest way to really get a website developed uh, cheaply and quickly and efficiently with a very high quality is to use our marketplace of 17 million freelancers from around the world. And so, you know, we actually only acquired the business in November of 2015, so it's only been 10 weeks since we've, since we've owned escrow.com. Uh, but I'll talk to you just briefly about what France does and then, and, and then, and then kind of um, how the synergies sort of fit in. I mean, France, we literally are the largest uh, crowdsourcing and outsourcing marketplace globally. Uh, we have 17 million users around the world and the total value of jobs posted on the site uh, to date uh, is around 2.9 billion US dollars. And that marries very nicely with escrow's total transaction volume of about 2.7 billion. Um, now, Freelancer really changes the dynamics in the way, um, uh, the global uh, dynamics for the marketplace for people. And in fact, what we do in our marketplace, it's really an eBay for jobs. So people can, any sort of job you can possibly think of, design a website, develop, um, design a logo, uh, uh, develop a product, um, you can get it done on the site. We have about 900 different categories of, of work, everything from astrophysics, aerospace engineering, genetic engineering, biotechnology, manufacturing, you name it. Uh, we have two participants in our marketplace. So the people who post jobs are really small business, uh, small businesses, entrepreneurs, startups, and so forth. They want to turn that sort of spark of an idea into reality. Um, and our and uh, freelancers on the side are also entrepreneurs, and they're mainly from the developing world and emerging markets, who, um, who basically are starting service organisations to help people uh, get things done. We have a very, very strong record of growth. Um, uh, we've got uh, over eight million projects have been posted on the site to date. So very, very high volumes of products. And that, in terms of the supply. So this is people doing the work. There is nowhere else in the world that's more liquid. 60% of the jobs posted on our site get a bid within 60 seconds. 
right? So if you want a website project done or something done, you post the job within 60 seconds, someone is there saying, hey, I'll do the job, here's a price, let's talk, right? Um, and there's about 2.5 million bids per month have gone through the site <coughs> for projects, and, and uh, there's about 300,000 uh, contest entries. And I won't, I won't go through a video for France, but we've, drawn the, we've done the same sort of thing with, with France.com, showing where the work uh, is being performed and so forth. It actually has exploded, so we probably need a new graphing algorithm. But you know, we're very much a global business. We have um, 34 different languages supported on the site. We have 20 different currencies. And this is the sorts of work that people get done. I'll show you some examples. So this is you know, a project, a typical project. This is do a 3D rendering of a villa uh, from a floor plan for me. Uh, this job cost $100, and on the right-hand side is the actual uh, end work, or a sample of the end work that was done on the site. So this is a pretty simple project. Uh, but you might want a website developed. So this is a website for a startup conference. Uh, this cost 350 euros. This conference uh, website was actually full motion video in the background, so it's like the Uber site. So there's actually a, a showreel playing in that background image. So it's, it's pretty phenomenal. So 350 euros, you can get a site developed. If you wanted to do this from a local web developer in the United States, this would cost you many, many thousands of dollars. Uh, and so you know, typically on freelancer, you can get jobs done for about one tenth the price. Uh, this is CAD, CAD, uh, CAD, uh, CAD rendering. There's plenty of factories in places like China and so forth that bid on the site that will um, uh, bid very, very low prices for design work because they'll say, if you want 5,000 units by next month, here's a quote freight, uh, freight on board from, um, you know, from Shanghai to, to, to San Francisco. In this case, this is 55 Canadian dollars for the 3D rendering of a, of a paper towel a holder. Uh, but there's many, many different uh, freelancers that are actually factories that will also build it for you very cheaply. Um, now, something that, um, which, which might be of interest to a number of people who've got domains, I mean, if you've just bought a domain name and you, you don't know what to do with it, uh, you might want to just drop a logo on it and make it look like it's being developed or there's a business that's about to be formed on that site. Uh, you can get a logo done using crowdsourcing on our site. So the way crowdsourcing works on the platform is you put up a prize and then people will compete for that prize. And it's very interactive and very visual. You can say, I like this, I don't like this, change the colours, change the font you know, put a tree in it, whatever you want to do. Uh, and here's an example. This was a 129 US dollar prize. There were 81 different designs submitted. Uh, and you can see the quality of the end results. More sophisticated than that, this is the 3D modeling um, of, of an image. I don't know if you know this, but the IKEA catalog, 75% uh, of the images in the IKEA catalog are actually computer rendered, they're not photos. And they do that because when the catalog goes to different markets around the world, they want to change the coffee table magazines to be you know, local magazines, but they have to redo the shoot for every single country they sell in. So this is a contest for $90 US for the 3D rendering uh, of a scene with a, for a wardrobe manufacturer. You can see here the quality of the rendering is absolutely phenomenal, and that's $90. And there were, 69 different entries that you could choose from. And it's winner takes all, so the winner is the person who gets paid. Uh, another example designed for me a house. This is $215. Uh, they, they wanted a contemporary style home. Uh, there were 51 different um, designs submitted, which consisted of a floor plan as well as a 3D rendering. Um, uh, and that was sort of the winning entry. Uh, but it can be product designs I've talked about before. This is 500 euros, the industrial design of a vinyl cutter. And this is sort of the quality that you get for 500, uh, 500 euros. So, um, yeah, a bunch of people use us. Something really exciting uh, that's happened is NASA started using us. And um, uh, believe it or not, it's kind of scary uh, what's going on. But uh, on the International Space Station, there's actually a ro robotic astronaut called the Robonaut R2. It's been there since 2011. And that R2 has just been upgraded to have legs to allow it to walk at, uh, outside the space station and do uh, missions. Because uh, it's actually not very safe for astronauts to go outside the space station, despite what you see in, in the movies. So they needed to train the image recognition system of this robotic astronaut to be able to do this. Uh, and you can imagine NASA, the old NASA being quite a bureaucratic sort of organisation, very expensive to get things done. They've turned to crowdsourcing to, to now build the 3D models to train the image recognition system. And for this, this particular um, flashlight, that's not a photo, that's a 3D render, computer generated, that costs $50 for NASA. They did handrails, this is the quality of a handrail, for example. The handrail is what the robot grasps onto when it climbs outside the space station, and that's the robot itself with the, with the new legs that's being fitted, and it's about to go outside the space station. This is actually a computer image, a generated image of what it's about to do. So we trained all the image recognition system for NASA. We also did the smartwatch that, that the astronauts use on the International Space Station. So this is the, um, the uh, app uh, interface design. It cost $1,500. They had 237 different um, uh, entries to do the, the, the smartwatch app that tells them when to eat and when to do exercise and, and, and all sorts of other mission data. And the really exciting thing, which is actually uh, going to be announced next week, is they've just announced that, uh, well, this uh, partner with us, we're going to develop a robotic arm for the International Space Station on, this, on a replacement robot for the Sphere's uh, flying robot. 
So um, what they're going to do is they're going to do a, dozens and dozens of contests all over um, uh, 2016, starting with a decomposition of the systems architecture of the robotic arm, which is going to define all the subsystems that need to get built, and they're going to do contests every single uh, month on freelancer building the little pieces, the servo motors and the actuators and the, you know, and so forth. So that's really, really, really exciting. So if NASA can use this, anyone can use this. Now, as I mentioned, um, it's only been 10 weeks since we've uh, owned escrow.com, uh, but it's been a very, very busy 10 weeks, and we've got very, very big plans for the business. Um, first thing we did was increase uh, support times uh, to uh, go to 11 o'clock on uh, California time, but we're actually going to move this to 24 by 7 by 365 around, uh, around the clock. Now, at Freelancer, we have 34 languages on our site. Uh, we, we do about 25 or so of them um, uh, in terms of support. Um, so we actually have a plan to do that as well. Uh, we've started with Chinese language support. Uh, so the site um, currently, uh, there's a new version of the site which is, is also in Chinese, but the support emails and so forth are now going out in Chinese. And we actually have a, a Chinese support team now. So if you want to speak, speak uh, to them, uh, you can. But we'll be adding, uh, as I mentioned, about 20 languages over time uh, to escrow's business. In addition, we're going to do currency support. At the moment we, spoke, we support US dollars and euros. Um, Freelancer.com has 20 different currencies. We're going to support uh, as many of those currencies as we can. We have a new version of the website that's up at beta.escrow.com. Here's, here's a sneak peek here. You can actually go to beta.escrow.com today and you can, you can play around with it. It's actually a responsive website, so you can, it actually works on mobile, which is useful if you're at a you know, domain name conference, for example, you want to play your phone to do a transaction. It's also in Chinese. It looks great in Chinese. Uh, that's the mobile version of the site and so on. Now, just a few, a few little things, just in terms of how you can make money with escrow, and there's a lot of, a lot of things we have, have in plan. This is just really just a few little starting points. Uh, the first thing is we support a, a transaction type known as a domain name holding transaction, and this is basically lease to buy. So if you've got a set of portfolio of domain names and someone wants to buy one of the domain names and doesn't have enough money to be able to pay you up front for the whole thing in full, what you can do is you can set up this transaction that can pay you regular monthly payments. If they default, you get your domain name back, right? Um, but it's a way uh, in which you can, you can get more liquidity from your, from your domain portfolios. So that's, that's, a, that's a pretty interesting thing. We've had some great feedback about that. We're considering offering um, just pure leasing as well. Uh, and I welcome any feedback you have about whether that be of interest. Um, but we're also building out the API in a really robust manner. So this is a way that you can actually integrate into your own website or your own emails or your own landing pages um, the escrow.com functionality. And we've got a whole, uh, you know, the great thing about Freelancer is we have 470 staff of which 200 are engineers, software developers. So we have a, a big development team that's gonna be you know, really, really um, uh, working on the product uh, pretty he in a pretty heavy way. Uh, so we've got an API which, we're, which is live now, but we're also building out with, with functionalities and, and feature sets. So this is a really interesting way in which you can kind of use escrow for your business. And here's, here's some examples. So uh, RapNet, which is actually a diamond wholesaler, um, actually has integrated the full escrow.com um, functionality into their website. So you can actually click through and, and buy and sell diamonds on RapNet using the API. Um, and you can see a few screenshots how it's been integrated. You could also put together landing pages. So um, if you've got a portfolio that, you know, and you've got of park domains with a bunch of links and so forth, you could also put a buy it now button on there and you could sell it. And a whole bunch of people are already doing this. Here's examples of, you know, this is highly customizable. You can, it's really up to the CSS on how this looks. But here's an example of you know, newyorkrenting.com that made it look like there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a business there. Um, you know, Poser, startalent.com, Goza and so forth. So there's a, there's a whole bunch of ways people have done those landing pages. Now, you can get them done really, really cheaply on, on Freelancer. Um, so this page uh, uh, costs under $200 to get developed uh, for, you know, for a Mexican restaurant. Uh, this, is, this, this costs $194 um, uh, as a landing page, and this costs $165. And I've seen landing pages go through for as cheap as $50. It all depends on which designer you like and what they're bidding and, and, and so forth. So, you know, there's some ways there which you can, we can, you can really um, use both escrow and use freelance to actually build the value of your, of your, of your domain, uh, domain business. Uh, we've got a special offer also for, for Namescon. Uh, if, you, if you include the phrase happy Namescon in your transaction description, we'll give you a free t-shirt. It says Bitcoin or so 2010. Um, and we also have a recruiter service. And if you're, if you're new to using Freelancer, we've got a service where our staff will help you find the best possible freelancer for your job and will guarantee the placement. And we're offering that free for um, any, anyone here at Namescon to, um, to really build out the value in their domain, domain portfolio. So just talk to us at uh, booth number one, which is just on the, in the corner over there. Um, you know, the key thing here is that we're really looking for feedback from, from all of you uh, in how we can improve the service. Um, we're going to have a pretty aggressive timetable in terms of shipping new features um, on the site. Uh, Freelancer ships about uh, 20 code changes or more per day. Uh, um, 
So it's a, you know, if, you're, if you're a long time user of freelancer, there's just, there's just so much functionality that's been built in uh, over time and that's really led to a, a tremendous growth. We think that escrow can be a phenomenal business. Um, I think fundamentally at, at its core, if you're a seller of anything of value, right, and that may be a car, a domain, a website, whatever it may be, a business, right, if the product was identical with PayPal, and it's not, we've got some way to go, but we've got a big team now that's, that's, that's working on this, I think the seller would always choose escrow.com because you, know, you want surety and payment, right? And we have no chargebacks. Well, PayPal has chargebacks. Uh, and also uh, 89 bips uh, for a transaction fee, it's, it's significantly cheaper than the PayPal transaction. So I think long term, there's tremendous potential with this business. Um, but um, I'm really excited uh, to be here at Namescom. I'm very excited to meet all of you guys. And I hope there's been, um, there's been a, some interesting, um, an interesting uh, talk for you. So thank you. Matt Berry, thank you so much for joining us here at Namescon.